If you are wondering what to pack for your next cruise, this video is for you. As we detail the 12 items we always bring in our cruise carry-on, and you should too, up next. Welcome aboard cruisers and a special welcome back to those Eat Sleep Cruise subscribers. When it comes to packing for a cruise, it can feel a little overwhelming, especially if you don't cruise that often. So we're here to help ensure that your cruise embarkation day is smooth sailing with the 12 items that you need to pack in your cruise carry-on. Now, when you arrive at the terminal on cruise embarkation day, you're most likely gonna hand over your larger bags to a porter. These terminal workers will ensure your bags are properly tagged so they can be delivered to your stateroom. This means you should pack all your cruise essentials in a bag that you will then carry onto the ship. Perhaps the most important thing you need to pack in that cruise carry-on bag is all your required travel documentation. It is true, many cruise lines are going paperless. So it is possible that you have your cruise boarding ticket and other forms of documentation on your smartphone. But we always print paper copies just in case there's any cell phone issues. Either way, you're gonna want those cruise documents handy to show the staff at the terminal during the check-in process. And this can be rather chaotic with lots of individuals and traffic. So you don't wanna be fumbling around. You want them easily accessible, maybe in a front pocket, or if you have a larger tote bag on the very top. Along with the cruise documents, you're gonna need a passport or your legal birth certificate and government issued ID. Technically, U.S. citizens taking closed loop cruises, one that begins and ends in the same U.S. port, do not need a passport when cruising to some destinations. However, we always recommend cruising with one, and it's essential in the event of illness or injury requiring to leave the ship in a foreign port of call. Most likely, you registered a credit card with the cruise line during your check-in process. This means that all onboard purchases will be made using your ship key card, you'll not need to use cash or credit cards on the ship. However, it's still very important to place your wallet with cash and credit cards in your cruise carry-on bag. You wanna have some cash for tips, the casino, and when going ashore in ports of call. While it's true many places do take credit cards and even digital payments, having cash can go a long way for getting cabs, tipping tour guides, or making small purchases in different markets or food and drinks while doing your shore excursions. Plus having cash and maybe a couple credit cards readily available are also essential in the event of emergency during your cruise. We wouldn't want to chance them being lost or stolen in our check bags, so we always make sure to have them with us when doing our check-in in our cruise carry-on. So we recommend bringing about $200 in small bills and that's separate from any money you want to bring for gaming in the casino or for shopping while at ports of call. The days of an unconnected cruise are officially over. Now, almost everyone is tied to our smartphone device. This allows us not only to talk to anyone around the world, but also puts texting, email, social media, the internet, and even streaming movies and music at our fingertips. Heck, you might even be watching this video on your phone, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. In fact, even the cruise lines are shifting to more digital approaches with smartphone apps that can perform various functions to enhance a cruising experience. These complimentary cruise apps can be used without purchasing a cruise ship Wi-Fi plan to view daily activities, make reservations, purchase add-ons, and more. So now more than ever, it's important to pack your smartphone in your cruise carry-on. You'll also wanna make sure to pack the associated chargers and even a portable power pack. Let's just say the cell phone batteries don't last if you're on your phone all day. Just as you wouldn't want to risk your wallet or cell phone being lost or stolen from your luggage, same goes for other electronics and valuable items. If you pack any expensive items like laptops, tablets, cameras, or jewelry, you'll want to secure them in your cruise carry-on bag as well. As you can imagine in our cruise carry-on bag, we have multiple laptops, multiple cameras, microphones, and tons of gear. And if you're keeping track of this list, you now realize that your cruise bag needs to be large enough to accommodate all these items. Cruisers often use backpacks or rolling duffel bags, large tote bags, or small suitcases for their cruise carry-on bags. But again, keep in mind you do need to carry this bag around with you for several hours until your stateroom is ready 
is most cruise lines don't have staterooms ready until between 1 and 2 p.m., which could mean you're spending several hours with all of these devices. But I rather carry around these devices than chance them getting lost or broken in my check baggage. We also recommend that you get a cruise approved power strip. We have a link down below in the description to our preferred power strip. You just want to make sure that it's a non surge protector. If you just grab a power strip from your house, the cruise line will confiscate it. You also want to remember to put any of those devices in airplane mode as soon as you set sail, or you might rack up some roaming charges. In that cruise carry on, it's also important to make sure you put any prescribed medications you plan to take with you during the trip. Yes, there is a medical center on board the ship, but it might not have access to your particular prescriptions. You should also consider packing some over the counter meds in your cruise carry on as well, like motion sickness meds or Tylenol. You never know if you might need them prior to your luggage being delivered to your stateroom. These will likely be available for purchase on the ship, but at increased cost. Remember, any luggage that you leave with the porter at the cruise terminal will not arrive to your cabin until later in the afternoon. If you're cruising the Caribbean or the Bahamas, or even the Mediterranean, be sure to pack pool essentials in your cruise carry-on bag. These include suntan lotion, sunglasses, bathing suit, and flip-flops. Even if you don't plan on changing into a bathing suit to use the pool on day one, suntan lotion and sunglasses are still very important. While you haven't arrived in the Caribbean or the Bahamas yet, many crews depart from ports that are in warmer locations. Thus, it could certainly be hot and sunny on your cruise embarkation day. We've been on over 65 cruises, and for the most part, our bags do tend to arrive in our stateroom between 3 and 4 o'clock. However, there have been some occasions where we don't get our luggage until later in the evening. That's why now we always recommend packing some essential toiletries in your cruise carry-on bag. These could include a toothbrush and toothpaste, deodorant, a hairbrush, and any other items you can't live without during your cruise. In the event of lost luggage, you'll be able to purchase most of these sundries at the gift shop on your ship. Of course, they'll come with a high price tag. However, there's no guarantee as to what items will be in stock or what brands will be available. Even if you don't lose your luggage, if it does arrive later in the day, we like to have these toiletries just so we can freshen up before dinner, as the wife wants to make sure she looks her best for that first main dining room experience. Likewise, in the event of loss or delayed luggage, many cruisers also recommend packing a change of clothes in your cruise carry-on. If there's a delay in the delivery of your luggage to your stateroom, you'll at least be able to change it for dinner. Ah, uh, see a pattern here? Luckily, the suggested attire on the first evening for many cruises is casual, so you don't have to worry about packing that tux in your carry-on. Now, if your luggage is somehow lost, you will appreciate having a spare outfit and undergarments until you're able to contact your travel insurance company. Because you did purchase travel insurance, right? While it took us a while, for the past few years, we've been packing a refillable water bottle in our cruise carry-on, and we have a link in the description down below to our preferred Yeti water bottles, which we love for lounging near the pool or by the beach. These bottles keep drinks cold the entire day, even in the Caribbean sun. Of course, they also keep coffee hot for hours. But regardless of what brand, a refillable water bottle will come in handy while you're out in the sun on embarkation day, as well as the remainder of your trip. will help you stay hydrated between those pina coladas. Yes, you can certainly ask for a glass of water at the bar or purchase bottled water if it's not included in your beverage package. But a refillable water bottle is more portable, eco-friendly, and often cheaper in the long run. Also, several cruise lines, such as Virgin Voyages, Oceana cruises have refillable water stations throughout the ship. Other cruise lines have done away with or are doing away with single-use plastics and are replacing traditional water bottles with cartons of water or cans of water, which aren't really conducive to being used throughout the day. So having a refillable water bottle definitely comes in handy in those situations. Most cruise lines allow passengers to take two 750 milliliter bottles of wine per stateroom on board the ship. However, this is the only outside alcohol that's typically allowed. If you plan to take these bottles of wine with you on your vacation, they must be packed in your cruise carry-on bag. 
Several companies offer small packable bags that are perfect for carrying two bottles of wine on a cruise ship. You should never stow these in your checked luggage, however. This could result in your bags being flagged by security. Ultimately, this might result in delays receiving your luggage, and it's possible that if these bottles are found in checked luggage, you might be called to the naughty room. Now, we would never recommend that you try to sneak other alcohol on board, whether it's in water bottles or rum runners or other types of containers. You also might want to check with your cruise line because if they have a corkage fee, bringing the two bottles of wine on board may not save you as much money as you think. Now, Heidi and I just traveled the two of us, but if you're traveling with little ones, you want to make sure you have some essential gear for your kids in your cruise carry-on. This might mean things like diapers and wipes or other items to keep them occupied, like toys or tablets, specific snacks, and more. If you plan to spend time by the pool upon boring day, make sure to pack water goggles and other necessities too. But don't worry about things like towels or floaties. Those will be available on the pool deck. Upon boarding the cruise ship, you'll be given either your key card or you'll find it placed outside your cabin. Either way, this key card is your lifeline while on the ship. You'll need to access your stateroom, enter and exit the ship in ports of call, and to make onboard purchases. Thus, having access to this key card is essential. Many cruisers enjoy the convenience of a lanyard. Having one that can detach at the bottom is a bonus to pass off to staff when ordering drinks. Heidi prefers an adhesive pocket on her cell phone instead. Since most cruisers take their phones with them everywhere, having a pocket on your phone to carry the key card and perhaps a few small bills for tips is another great option. Now that you're armed with the essential items you need to pack in your cruise carry-on, it's time to plan your next cruise. If you're not sure where to start, why not check out our review of the top nine cruise ships? That's right, we've sailed on nine of the newest cruise ships last year, and we compare all of these vessels on 15 different categories like the main dining room, entertainment, staterooms, and more to help you decide which ship is right for your next cruise vacation.